Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Figured I'd take advantage of this nice weather. I think it's 62 degrees, which is unheard of for February in Kentucky. But, hey, we'll take it. But, figured I'd take advantage of this nice weather and get out here in the backyard and experiment with the Harbor Freight six by eight foot tarp. Um, after getting it out, unfolding it and looking at it it is the perfect size for one person um the way you can set this thing up is just limited to only your imagination it has got a grommet every two foot all the way around the edge all of the grommets are reinforced with a doubled over triangle and then the seam folded over top of that and all of it sewed in. Let's see if I can get you turned around here. Hang on just a If you look right there, that triangle is actually doubled. So it's two thicknesses. Then the edge is folded over so there's two more. So everywhere the grommet goes through, the grommet goes through four thicknesses four layers of canvas so it holds should hold up very very well this is probably the, my favorite way that I have come up to set this up let me get up here and back up what I have done is I've got two foot folded over and staked down on the ground then got a two foot wall and then got four foot coming out over top of me. Gives more than enough overhang to protect you if you're laying underneath of it. Now, granted, that being said, this only gives you six foot length. I'm 5'10", so I don't have a lot of room to play with when I lay in there. Uh, that is a six foot by three foot, I believe, uh, homemade bedroll bag. I haven't got it waxed yet, but I've, that's coming. But it opens up just like a sleeping bag. You can line it with blankets. Once I get it waxed, you can use it as a ground cloth, whatever, stuff it full of leaves, straw, whatever to use it as a mattress. Let me get around here where you can see the side of it. Here's how the side of it comes. Now I've set it up this way because the sun's shining right at the back side of this. And just with the sun shining on that, it is very, very warm underneath of it. Now something that you could do if you had two people, you could do this same configuration but do it off to that side and then you would practically have a improvised wall tent block the back end of it off with another tarp and leave the front of it open if you wanted to but that's probably going to be the one way that I set it up the most just because of the availability of cover and everything let me get in here oh i'm sitting down here and i have got all kinds of overhang over top of me i got a good foot and a half out in front of me if you see where my foot is my foot would just barely be coming out from underneath of it so let me get you switched back all right around. there we go now, I ended up using some old tent poles that I had here at the house, but these two front aluminum poles, I'd say are probably close to four foot tall, and then the, maybe a four and a half foot. But they're adjustable. I had them here left over from an old tent that the wind tore up, so I used them on the front, but you could very easily cut two saplings out in the woods to do the same thing. 
you could probably put this up if you had a, the trees to do it in this same configuration and use nothing but ridge lines to hang it up. But let me get down here and lay down so you can see what I'm talking about as far as space. Um, somewhere in the area of around 510. And right here, I'm still probably got an inch or so on each end, maybe two, but not no more than a couple of inches on each end leeway. So look forward to getting it out. Now that I've got two pieces of property, I've actually got to get up with the owner of one Hopefully over the weekend, if he doesn't have something come up, uh, he runs a funeral home here in town and his availability depends on his business. So he hopes to be slow this weekend. But once I get over there with him and actually see his property, his property is gonna be the closest to the house and probably gonna be the most friendly to doing videos the other piece of property actually got up with the property owner there and it's got one good flat finger comes off of a ridge that could be used but the rest of it's all hillsides uh, plenty of material but again all hillside except for that one flat finger off the, the top and then that flat finger is probably, I'd say a good 50 to 60 degree climb straight up and probably about 200 yards or so to get up there. That's the piece of property it doesn't have any access to other than on foot. You can't drive anywhere on it. If you had a four wheeler possibly, but that would be the only way you could shuttle any kind of materials in and out. Uh, other than that, packing everything in and out is just ridiculous. Neither one of these two properties have water access. I did speak to an individual the other day that has quite a bit of land on the other end of the county, but it has a big creek that runs right down through the middle of it and I've got to get up with them and actually sit down and explain to them what I do and why. And then they said they would make a decision on whether or not they'd let me use their property. But we'll see if that one works out, then it could lead into a whole lot of, whole lot of different things. The only bad thing about that one is it's a probably a good 30 minute drive from the house to get there. So that in and of itself would take a lot of planning just to be able to get over there and do anything there. But uh, just wanted to shoot a short, quick video on this tarp. So far, I can say I recommend going by and picking one of these up, either in a six by eight or an eight by 10. Depends on the size you want. If you're looking to save weight, and don't expect it to ever be more than just yourself. A six by eight would more than suffice. Uh, with the way this overhang is, if I had a fire all three foot out in front of the edge of the shelter, I have no doubt that this thing would just absolutely run me out of it. But uh, there you go, short, sweet, to the point. Y'all have a good one. I'll get another one up for you soon.